Okay, come with me. I just want to get down here, not far at all away from my car. I want to find a little bit of um, bedrock or anything where I can get a few little cheeky pans in. I'm straight onto bedrock. I'm about three foot above the water and I'll just show you this. I'm interested in what's in here, so I think I'm going to give that a little investigation and quickly see if we can find any flakes of gold in there. Okay, we've found a few little specks of gold in this last pan. There you have it, there's probably about, um, again, another 15 to 20 super micro dots and then three visible pieces just there. Right, we'll try this little section here. About a foot lower. Right, well that's a better sign that we're looking in a, a better place because we've found a fair size fishing weight there. Uh, any gold in there? Maybe a piece of lead? There's no gold though, but we've got heavies dropping out. Right, we'll just try that ledge now. Another foot further down, almost at the water's edge. Looking down there, I can see some pebbles that are quite tightly crammed in, so that might need just to be excavated a bit more with a, a scraper. Okay, we've got lower down now, onto the water's edge, and there is gold, very fine gold. You may not even be able to see it, but I reckon in there now, they're probably about 30 pieces of super duper fine dusty gold. But you know, if you imagine that would very quickly add up if you kept finding that. 
and it'll be a lovely colour when it's all lined up along there. of this lovely sedimenty paste and let's just see what else we can find in that stuff there's another little crevice further on inside there with all that kind of gravel Well, nice, diddy piece of gold and lots of flowery stuff all around it. Well, I've taken that crevice as far as I can. One more fishing weight. That was it. We've got a few little specks. It's all about prospecting at the end of the day and I'm happy now. I'll clean this up and move on. And there is one important factor I've not actually mentioned here. I'm on the outside of a bend. The inside line's over there. I'm just looking over my shoulder. You can see where there's a boulder field there. So, you know, that's an indicator as well. So I'm going to go over that side and have another prospect on the gravels on the inside line. Okay, I'm on the uh, inside line now. And the results, although it's nothing epic, they're much better. Because I'm seeing colour straight off bedrock. You won't see it that well, but there's a piece there, piece there, and lots of very fine stuff. So, oh, there's another piece there as well. So if I've got three visible specks from five minutes of using my small suction pump, I'm happy with that. Now I'll show you with the underwater camera where I've been working, and it's just back to basic gold prospecting. So as you can see there, it's just a nice little bit of bedrock, little bits of gravels on top. Sometimes you have to get your little scraper, one of them, and hook out some of them flat pebbles that are lodged in. Then get your pump and just work out the gravels into your pan. That's all I've done there, five minutes. And again, I'm not here looking for nuggets, I'm not here to become a millionaire, anything like that. It's just prospecting this river. 
I've been upstream, downstream, I've been diving in this river, I've tried sluicing, various sluices. I've had a lot of goals at finding gold and if anything, you know, it's here, it's everywhere. And for me, the interest is to find gold on all parts of the river, just to get an idea of what's going on. Well, just one speck there and another fishing weight. Another pan, a few more visible specks there. About one, two, three, four, five or six and probably about eight very, very dusty little pieces. Another pan, fishing weight and little diddy bits of fly poop about three or four pieces there okay it's time for me to go i've had a nice little session at this part of the river um, we've found a few little specks of gold let's have a look it's time to go home so there it is it's not a fat lot but i've got a little line of gold and i'm happy with that i've just come down here i've had a cup of coffee couple of butties and I've spoken to a few prospectors in the car park and I'm not walking far at all just to find that it's good enough So this morning I've had a cracking little bike ride, I've got the bikes on the back there. So I thought on the way back we'll call in and have a pan. There might be some flood gravels down there. Just to keep the gold finger at bay. 